welcome to the testing world so in this session we are going to cover how we can do condition handling in JavaScript so condition handling means wherever we want to make decision on the behalf of some conditions I can give you an example I'm doing some automation I enter username and password and click on the sign in button so here we have a condition if username is and password is correct then login if username or password is incorrect then don't login so that is a condition we have to do a lot of condition handling while doing any kind of automation so here we have we are going to learn how we can do condition handling and for that we are going to use if if else if else if else and nested if so these are the options we are going to use while doing the condition handling so first of all I'm moving to notepad plus plus and I'm going to create a new file and I'm saving this file with the name condition dot JS and I can write it like condition one dot JS I have saved this now here I'm going to use first I'm going to make I'm going to use only if else so first I'll use if else and if you have worked on C, C++, C Sharp or Java so here condition handling is qu quite similar to the code of C, C++, C Sharp and Java so I'll show you first of all I'll take an example by which we are going to understand this condition handling so my question is we have one number and we need to check this is even number or odd number so that's my requirement here so first of all I want to declare a variable so I'm declaring a variable with the name input number and whatever the data you want to give as of now I'm just giving like 10 okay now we need to check is this even number or odd number so first of all I'm making a condition if if this input number and I'm making mode of it mode means if I mode 10 by 2 answer would be 0 means we are finding the reminder of it so if I say if I'm taking the number and doing the mode of this number by 2 and if we get the answer 0 it means this is the even number so I'm writing like console dot log this is even number as of now first of all I'm using only if I'm not writing else I'm just going to execute this for execution I'm moving to command prompt and I'm using my file name is condition one dot js executing and we are getting answer this is even number here because the number was 10 if I enter 11 and now try to execute the same code again we are not getting any answer why because you mention if it is divisible by 2 or I'll say completely divisible by 2 then it's a even number but we did not give any other condition means if it is not divisible by 2 or I'll say completely divisible by 2 there is a no condition here we have written only one condition if this is true perform this task but if this is false I'm not writing anything so here we have seen first option we can use only if if the condition is true do this if this is not true or I'll say this is false then don't do anything as of now here is the condition now I want I want to use if and else if and else means if this condition is true then perform this task but if this condition is not true I'm using else so if condition is not true then console dot log and I'm saying this is odd number so I'm coming here like this saving it 
and going to execute it here it is showing this is odd number why it's a 11 11 mod by 2 is not 0 means this condition is not true it is going to the else and it is showing this is odd number and if I mention like 110 and now try to execute we are getting this is even why because this time this condition is true here we have seen we can use only if and we can use if and else but if is mandatory if you want to use else means if I write like this that's a incorrect syntax so if I execute this here we are getting error because else is only possible if you are writing if so if you are writing if then we can use if else I'm just saving and running it again we are getting answer this is even so here we have seen condition handling by using if and else one more thing I want to explain here when you want to assign some value here we are assigning a value to the variable for assigning a value for assigning a value we are using equal to and for comparing a value here we are comparing value for comparison we are going to use double equal to so here we have seen for comparison we are using double equal to for assigning we are using single equal to so here we have seen how we can go for condition handling by using if and else if in next session I'll move to the if else if and else the nested if and we are going to cover conditional or and conditional and as well so that will be the part of our videos so that's all we have for the session thanks for watching this video